<laughs> Nikki collects pine cones and just does nothing with them. You can make snowmen. Dude, they're in every pocket of every coat I have. Nice. There's so many. <laughs> hey, poops. Yeah, you don't need to be somebody you're not. It's gonna warm us up quick today. I've said it many times, I know I would change my ways, I know not for sure When all the crowds decide me? to meet They settle down beneath my feet I've got it right and I've got it wrong Sweet. But I learned my My appetite is insane. Ugh, Caleb's strength. <laughs> Got it! Nice. That was cracking Oh, the fire pit? Yeah. Look at this crew. All the crew. State your name and state your claim. Richie Christmas. I'm in Arlington. Vermont. It's around 11 o'clock. And we're gonna do this today. We're gonna send it. And heavy metal seem to be the only thing that was for me. And I saw the angels coming down, and they sang a song and sang it loud. And I still remember parts of it. What a spot in here. Always bring cups for everyone. Yeah. yeah. It's cheers cool. to cheers. water. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. It's to, cold cheers to some water. Cheers. You're my son and daughter-in-law, but it's still ever. COVID going around. Oh, it's cold. Yeah. That was cool. <laughs> that was freaking awesome. We're hauling. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Took a little pit stop. Had to adjust my seat a little bit and change up some camera stuff. But all throughout the Green Mountain National Forest and the White Mountain National Forest, and in a lot of states, almost probably almost every state, there's a lot of free uh, campsites that sometimes you can only get to on foot or on your bike. This road is a gated road, so realistically, you know, you'd have to pedal out here, which is great because you get a nice quiet spot with no cars going by. It may be open up in the different parts of the season, but yeah, this stuff is, you know, 
all around the country, Nikki and I have kind of found these places in almost every state we've ever uh, been to. And they're really neat. It's kind of the coolest places to camp, you know, outside of just plopping down wherever you want to in the woods. But the forestry kind of maintains them just enough, you know, to keep them nice in hopes that people pick up after themselves when they leave and they provide little fire rings and pretty cool. All right, so we're still jamming up this road. It's long, this is a long, steep climb. GoPro effect never looks steep, but it's a sustained like, uh, let's see, what's, what does that say? Sustained eight and a half percent grade. It's pretty solid for six miles or so. So I'm gonna see if I can catch these guys. What a day. So quiet out here. It's so fortunate that we have this amazing planet to go out and explore on and to distill that down even more to be, to live in a place like the United States with so much diverse beauty in every way. And then to be a human being that has all these cool different ways to explore it, it's hard to do better. You know, and I'm just grateful that I can come out and see my family, ride in a place like this. Pretty cool. Those e-bikes are whooping us though. <laughs> But that river we were just riding along for like four miles, this road leads you up to the pond that um, is the beginning of it, the headwaters of it. So we're just gonna check that out. It's kind of a little impromptu ride we wanted to do this morning. We came down to visit mom and Rich uh, in Southern Vermont. It's like three hours south from us in the White Mountains. It's the first time we've seen them in, since COVID. since COVID started. So basically a year. And they got a new house and really haven't got to check anything out. Yeah. So. So, nice new neighborhood to explore for yeah, us. Yeah, and tons of insane gravel roads everywhere. So really good gravel riding in Southern Vermont. All right, let's get riding. Is that the end of the line? How do you get to the... Oh, this goes through the pond. Oh, can we do like a little hike? I kind of like to see the pond since we put the effort in to get up here. It's just a quarter mile hike. Oh no, there's right here. Branch Pond, point three. Oh, Dad? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> My mom and Rich are lagging behind. They're not lagging, they're just eating. Nick and I are gonna scare the crap out of them. Come out of the woods and scare the hell out of them. <laughs> what do I look like a rock? We're playing rock. <laughs> Funny looking black bear. <laughs> Let's run a little footpath down to this really pretty remote little uh, pond. Unless you're on a bike. Then it doesn't feel quite as far. Cool place. So quiet out here. This lake looks like it's really beautiful as we come up on it here. Wow, what a spot. Yeah, isn't this nice? Holy cow. This is gorgeous. Just walking through here feels magical. That's beaver. Oh yeah, yeah, he did come in wow. at it. Yeah, wow, that's crazy right and then there. It, and then it fell. He got after that. A lot of times they'll drop the big tree just to pull all the small limbs off of it. Ah, uh, okay. And then they make the dam with the smaller limbs. And they know which way it's gonna fall too. They're, yeah, they are the best lumberjack around. They really are. Or arborists, I guess. This is really neat. This forest feels like prehistoric. It does, yeah, you're right. All the quartz, granite. 
Yeah, he chewed this one too. These are mostly dropped by a beaver. program where if you're in the woods with a camera and they showed you like the weird stuff that goes on the hemlocks that's killing the hemlocks um and the, that invasive beetle it's uh, actually not Owl? that it's another thing that's killing them it's like a, a fungus and it's white and it looks like little pills and if you see a, a one with it on it if, if you take a picture and send it in they'll come and they'll, the forest ranger will come and get it oh interesting yeah oh wait the beetles are the things that are killing the um Ashes. the balsams oh the ball yeah yeah Sweet. Yeah. Oh. Wow, that's really cool. Right there, look at that. Should we build a small fire for this? 